supposed to wear yellow today. Yeah, get your yellow on. Hello, everybody. Okay. Welcome to E3 coverage from MinMax. I'm Ben Hansen, and this is a place about games friends are getting better. I'm joined by Sarah Podzorski. Hello. Wearing not yellow? Leo, this is- Not isn't... yellow. Leo Vader. I didn't get the memo. What's happening with Sarah? Why would she do this to us? Wow. Sabotage. I didn't get the email. It's the least <laughs> wholesome thing I've ever seen. Uh, this yeah. is our reaction stream for the big wholesome direct. Which, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of indie games. Uh, it's probably the easy way to pitch it, but you know, we got our Microsofts, we got our Ubisofts coming up later today, but we should spend some time at MinMax here checking out some indie games. And Sarah, you in particular were like, what is wrong with you, you freak of nature? Why aren't you covering the Wholesome Direct? I did twist your arm for this a little bit. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're blowing your chance at covering cool things. Like, okay, you were in particular yeah. excited about one game that they're gonna show here in particular. I am, right? I'm looking forward to most of the games, but specifically Paralives, which is kind of coming for The Sims, coming for the king Hell of yeah. life simulator games. So very excited for that. Best not miss. Yeah, it's like, it has a chance to be kind of like the city skylines what that was yeah. to Sim City. This is trying to be that for The Sims, which yeah, exactly. I've been screaming for years. Like, why isn't there another studio trying to make The Sims? And it's like, it's really taken I this long? It's just really hard. You need like a big team, a lot of time. And it's hard to come for a already, it's like trying to come for Animal Crossing, right? Right, right. Like, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Um, Leo, what are we looking at here? On screen? Yeah. That's my good friend Omni Boy. Dear pal. Yeah. Who is Incredibly Omni Boy? Incredibly talented. Signature white gloves on display here. Okay. Is it like, do you have any actual history for Omni Boy? I've been listening to him for a good few years now, which makes us friends, parasocially oh. speaking. Oh, good. You've liked his videos, therefore, you deserve a spot at his Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah. Well, it's really a great way to do a countdown, especially for mm -hmm. setting the mood for some good wholesome gaming. Like, it's so much better than just moody music. Yeah. Why not make that moody music happy and actually have something visual on the screen as well? Yeah. It's very fitting. I'm not a fan of the new trend of starting your announcement early and then making someone watch an hour of screenshots. Yep. I think like Horizon did that. I was so confused. Far Cry 6 was outrageous. Yeah. Uh, Freaking yeah. Battlefield. I was like, is anything happening? Yeah, it's a mess. Battlefield 2042 had, I think it was a full hour where they had said they were starting at this time. So everybody had their action streams. And like, <laughs> I understand maybe five minutes just to get the views up a little bit if you're a big cynical mm -hmm. publisher. But the idea of waiting, making, making people wait and filibuster for yeah. an hour when you know they're going to do filibuster. reaction streams. It's absurd. And that's why we need to yeah. end the filibuster. That's what we're here to talk about today with yeah. Wholesome Direct. God, and Game I love spot. the the Far Game Cry one, where it's like the timer went back down. Like it was like 30 minutes and then it jumped to an hour yeah. after at the end of the 30 minutes. I just got up and left. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say GameStop's Ubisoft Forward one has already started. It's got like a three hour countdown on it. Are you, you know? serious? You just, yeah, you just want to so be the- So we could co-stream, just put back. it in the bottom left. Exactly. We uh, gotta get in on that. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, we should talk about uh, MinMax's E3 coverage. We're doing uh, live reactions just like this uh, for Ubisoft coming up later today. It's at 2 p.m. Central. Then we're obviously covering Microsoft slash Bethesda tomorrow, Square Enix. Um, and then also we're going to be covering Nintendo, of course, on Tuesday. It should be very exciting. And then we have bonus episodes of the MinMax Show podcast, which you can subscribe to in your favorite podcast app. We're going to have a bonus episode uh, on Sunday evening and then one on Tuesday to talk about Nintendo and Monday's news. Um, and then we also have the regular episode on Wednesday slash Thursday, depending on about whether or not you support us on Patreon to get it early on that Wednesday. Leo, what else we got, man? Oh man, oh, me and Cork are cooking up some, some bangers, some big apps, some E3 recap videos that are gonna be very fun. And if you liked them from when we did them at Game Informer the past few years, and you always saw, wow, Leo posted that at 4 a.m. That's stupid. Yeah. I wish I could yell at him while he was working on them to stop working on them so late. Now you can if you're at the backstage pass tier. Oh, that's that right. That late night editing process will be will be live for a $10 patron. That's really fun. And do you like, um, not that it's crowdsourced, but do you like take ideas from the chat or they kind of help steer some small things along the way, I'd imagine? All the time. 
I think the most common thing is like music suggestions, you know, like I, here's right. the vibe I want and people come through with amazing choices from games. Oh, fun. Yeah, so that'll be, yeah, if you support us at the $10 tier on Patreon, you can watch Leo edit those live, which I think this should be a good time. And if you support us at any tier on Patreon, you get access to the Discord, which if you're in that Discord, that's where Trivia Tower happens every month. It's a monthly video game competition where you answer video game trivia to work your way up the Trivia Tower. And this month, it's going to be a big one. This month, it's Trivia Tower, the Grand Round! where we're giving away $1,000 to whoever knows the most about video games. Uh, so it should be a very fun time. So if you're looking for a reason to jump in and support independent games media, you can support us at that $2 tier, jump in the Discord, and then compete in Trivia Tower, which is coming up on Sunday, June 20th. That's gonna be the big day. So Father's Day, time to play the granddaddy of all trivia games, Trivia Tower, right, Leo? That's right. It's like the lottery, but you might be skilled at it. <laughs> That's right. It actually takes some skill. Yeah. All right. Let's get wholesome here. Sarah, put the world's biggest smile on your face. We got it. We got to do Already it. Already so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that looked cool. Do you think there'll be one single gun in this whole conference? Absolutely not. No, I actually don't think so. I don't think so either. That'll Let's be a try refreshing and spot change it. of pace. Spot the gun. Of wholesome games. <laughs> my name is Jenny Windham, and I am joined by my co-hosts Victoria Tran and Derek Fields. Sit back and relax. As Let's we see, bring Derek is that? No, that's Vivi. Maybe Vivi's holding a gun. No, no that's a wand. Any games we love today? Head over to wholesomegames.com to get all the info and find out. Oh, it's how a door you handle. The developers. <laughs> all right, let's get started. They're so sweet. A lot of pressure for them to be sweet, though. Imagine if they were just like abrasive out of the gate. This is really taking a turn. Panic attack game. Game or will this be the narrative wrapping of the show? I think it's a game. Is the volume okay, everybody? Let us know in the chat. Hi Seth, hi Brian with a Y, hi Aaron T, hi Ryan Herzog, hi MacDak. Is it like a sitcom? A sitcom, a sitcom narrative, narrative game. What channel is that coming on? <laughs> You're live. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about bird problems. Rakelet is a mysterious adventure game where you explore a strange town by following trails of light. That just looks like Japan. During your journey, you no, it's a strange one. You've never seen nothing like this. Sir. Items illuminated uh -huh. by the light to progress the story. They'd have to get the license for Japan if they acknowledged it, so you know how that goes. I back this. I, I was about to say, this seems like a Sarah-ass game already, so I'm glad that you followed through. <laughs> oh, I'm great at directing this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this looks pretty gosh darn cute. Oh, watching the monument. Oh, it's one of those cat ventures I hear so much about. Oh. Dream games and cat ventures have got to be my top two. Yep. What the hell? Wow, we're really going for this. Is this Pokemon Snaps? Hell yeah. What? More Pokemon Snap clones. That's what I say to the game industry. We're on a roll, More? baby. How many are there? Uh, there's the one that everyone's yelling at me to play. There's the one from New Zealand that everybody yelled at me to play last year. Um, there's new <laughs> Pokemon Snap. <laughs> at least three. Also looks like the witness. Huh. Can I answer a chat question? Yes, ma'am. Okay, they're asking about what it does when you. A lot of indie games ask you to wishlist them on Steam. Yeah. And it because it's because the more people they have wishlisting their game, the better featuring they'll probably receive on Steam. 
so it's definitely worth it to go and wishlist oh, like, like, the games you see that you really yes. want to play. Any game, oh, like taking photos and games, slapping on a filter, slapping on stickers, I'm into it. I'm into it. Are they live? Do they know they're I'm live? And I'm Lucas, and we are Max Inferno. And we're very excited to introduce to you our tidy puzzle game, A Little to the Left. It's a game where you stack, sort, okay. and organize things into just the right spot. Yep. Wait, does that look crooked to you? Ah. Oh. Uh, it's okay, I can uh, it. Where's my gun? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is already satisfying. I feel like that's the quote of the stream. Where's my gun? <laughs> yeah, Cecil in Blue says big wish list numbers also help the developers sell themselves to partners. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good reminder, Sarah, that it does actually make a difference. What a great idea for a game. Yeah. What the hell? What the heck? No, I really need my gun. It's Ooblets. Here we go. Oh. Have you been it's playing back. this, Sarah? I I haven't played it since the game's not finished yet. Oh. Wait. Honestly, I'm having a tough time telling if this is a montage or if it's all the same pastel indie game. This is all the same game. This is all Ooblets. Is it really? Yeah, it's all Ooblets. Oops, all Ooblets. Yeah. So they're like releasing a new update that gives you a new area to explore. Mm, We're just port getting started, forward. but I'd love to take a moment to mention I hate forwarding my ports. That's always the worst part of troubleshooting. Committee. There are now more than 80 million refugees and displaced people around the world who have been forced out of their homes. The IRC provides emergency aid and long-term support to refugees and those displaced by war, persecution, or natural disasters. I don't disasters. think any of this is live. We've partnered with the Yeti yeah. to offer some limited time- Like the footage of the refugees? Merch, like this incredible 3D <laughs> acrylic stand, as Ooh. well as a t-shirt featuring games from today's event. $5 from every product sold goes to the it's International Rescue Committee. Yeah. Can't wait All to see those games. games. Often show us what a kind of world can look like. We hope this reminds you to never forget the suffering in our own world and what we can do to help. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit rescue.org slash wholesome games or follow at rescue or partly mid max. May not represent the final look of queer and crash the biggest concert of the year. Okay. That looked like paneled upon. Spirit Spot is an action puzzle game set in a lush, narrative driven world of witchy demons. <laughs> All right. Oh, witchy demons. Walk to the beat as you reassemble lost <laughs> For those spirits, that can't choose between witches and demons. Soundtrack, decorate your bedroom, and hang with friends. Slow by beats to match three, two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. The text on the bottom was a flash. Behind the Frame is a narrative driven puzzle game. Shake it. Features a unique Here painting mechanic, 360 degree panoramic scenes, and a total Why are we custom painting soundtrack. Painting? Oh, I thought that was a window. Yeah, that makes more sense. He's turning into Sesame Street. I love when they like do a drawing and they just go. <laughs> And all of a sudden, like a perfect image appears. Yeah. Like I wrote. Oh, we that. saw this. I saw this in uh, Day of the Devs. Oh, okay. Life, the finest scenery. For cute. Hi, I'm Megan Fox, lead developer on Skateboard. Skate games have a history of being input dense and using every button on the gamepad and requiring rapid inputs to boot. Skatebird is no exception, as you can see here, but I wanted to see if I could simplify that at all. Oh. So I started looking at ways of reducing buttons and thus how much hand travel is required during gameplay. The easiest one was auto push on Ollie. Hold Ollie down, you go forward. Even classic skate games did this one, but it helps avoid input density on the left stick. 
after that, I wanted to try and reduce how much your right hand moves. Leo, so you I into this deep dive? Yeah, that's the grind interesting. requires moving your hand from the bottom of the gamepad face all the way to the top. But now I think holding A to go forward it should be like, you know, mandatory. Adding the option it slows the game yeah. down, being able to grab or kick flip with just one button too, and hopefully anyone will be able to have fun skateboarding with the bird. Like I'm still rooting for this game, but I really wonder, soon. releasing soon. I always wonder like what the sales would have been if it released before Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 remake. Mm. Okay. Here comes Nico. Is I feel like cozy three times as much? Tired people. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> what we're seeing now is a showcase of some of the friendly, quirky characters you'll meet in the game. I think we're going to see a lot of friendly, quirky characters today. Yeah, I'm kind of banking on it. <laughs> Animal oh, puns did I mention your boss is a necessity in this type of game. Mm-hmm. Oh, we should have gotten a little bingo thing going. Yeah, yeah. God, we blew it. Let's start the stream Next over. year, next year, guys. Yeah, write it down. Here comes Nico. Cute. Hey, everyone. I'm Saffron, cute. and I'm the creative director uh, at cute. Kitten Cup Studio. We're making Pico a cozy tea-making simulator where you run a tea house in a town full of cats. We're really excited for you to see what we've been working on, and we hope I'm that interested. if you love tea and cats as much as we do, that grabbed my attention. <gasps> I mean, that is a cute Cannibal Crossing 101 simulation game about taking the time for self care and connecting with the things that make you happy. Self care, Bing. As the town's <laughs> newest resident and tea house owner, you'll learn twelve unique rituals and tea making styles. Oh my god! Oh my god! Huh. Who thinks of this stuff? People that are nicer than we are? <laughs> Credits. Meet Meredith Weiss, a hard-working career woman in the big city, 1986. I feel gun energy. She decides to take a break and goes back to her hometown to become... A hitman? Yes. Oh, damn. A mail carrier. <laughs> yes. Oh, definitely gun energy now. This Jokes seems like the, the plot of like a Lifetime a Hallmark movie. Yup. And now she's gonna fall in love. What do you think, Mailman Simulator? What, do you, what are they gonna call it? Familiar. Many are uh, some pun, some, some pun about friendly. male. Yeah. Female? Some seem Some like cats. Well, others just That's probably it. Male. That's it. That's and it right there. Them, she could get to know a little bit better. Knows what will happen in two weeks. You think you can crash the mail truck? That's what I was wondering. Will people jump out of the way of the mail truck? Her own. <laughs> oh, wow. What? All right. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm into it. My daddy was a mailman, so I'll force him to Here play. Here it is. This is. Yay! What is this? Adorable. Oh, okay. I mean, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. <laughs> Fishing, check. Cooking, check. Farming, check. Check, check, check. I'll play it. Give it to me. Goodbye, wild cute fox. Oh, we got some gotcha pond. Okay. This is so cute. Yay! Ooh! I will see you there. There's so much to that game. I'm excited for it. All the little oh. characters and their names, especially, were mm -hmm. just a cute touch already. I dare Jeez. them to come back and just say, like, that one, I don't know. Ah! Need some more time in the oven. What was you that have one? To have was one. On my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to have, like, a soothing voice to yep. be, like, a wholesome games host? Would you say they're hosts? Yeah. It's it's the most subtle hosting job I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, but I you're guess, like that was nice. Right. <laughs> Let's make a little. You gotta love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to meet those gods. 
I love the the Animal Crossing voices that we keep hearing. It's Atlas all over is the a place. Grand adventure mm -hmm. on an uncharted planet. Cocopa and Poimero venture out into a new world full of potential, beautiful landscapes, unique characters, and untold secrets. His face. <laughs> I like it. Follow the game on Kickstarter. Don't support it there, just follow it. Just follow. And this isn't Tunic? No, this is not Tunic. How many foxes we need? Oh. More. Fox count. <laughs> what the hell is this? What the? Oh my god. <laughs> there what? are no rules within the game. <laughs> nope, no rules. You can make them whatever. Definitely the densest conference as far as music I would yeah. listen to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That background sound sounded like some Konami's arcade stuff. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I may be the most excited this about dance this. Band? Yeah. Yep. Sure. I'm I'm all in. Q3, Q3. buy me a ticket. Uh, the team behind Letters of Written Adventure. The game is about Sarah, a young girl from Switzerland who is writing letters to her pen friend. Thanks to these letters, oh. she's able to communicate her feelings, hopes, and dreams. What's going on over As here? the game progresses and Sarah gets older, there will be different sides to the story for you to discover, depending on the words that you chose. What? Oh. IBM Games presents letters. IBM Games? Follow the letters. IBM. Sarah oh, all that's a different company. Bad times. Help her find her voice to fight monsters and use the power of words in this nostalgic pen pal adventure. Look for it later this year on Steam and also Nintendo Switch. Hmm. I'm confused about the mechanics, but I'm intrigued. That's really creative. Yeah. Another You're pot alone cooking on a cold game? Christmas night. I never have too many. Stuck at home in a foreign country. That makes it like two. That's okay, though. You'll which get is, through it you know, more than we usually have. Six <laughs> yeah, I'm potted out. I do. Oh, oh my god. god. Does anybody need that many condiments? Lonely times in the sweet comfort Hot of pot for one is a really good name for a game. <laughs> I want that in VR so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh. It has to be in VR. It better be. Oh, this game. We've seen this. Is this mm -hmm. a, a Nintendo thing? A yeah. Grape. Protect friends, gather precious materials, and repair social ties and structures by bringing the community of each village together as they work to fend I love the that, like, wholesome games, the base is to, like, repair society. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Concord's Everywhere you go. And earn the trust of the community. Except in this one, you're a grape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one too, though, Leo. Tracks of Thought is an RPG shaped by your own personality. This is before sunrise. Find common ground in card-based battles and overcome your pitfalls together. Chan asked the pivotal question about Hot Pot for One. Yourself? How can you be stuck at home in a foreign country? Be sure to catch you the can demo have a, You can Steam travel right there. Now. Like, that was your home in a foreign country when you when you lived in Japan, right, Sarah? Hi, everyone. I'm yeah. Michelle Olson. There we go. Checks out. Beasts of Maravia Island. Beasts of Maravia Island is a game about discovering extraordinary creatures, learning their behaviors, and most importantly, photographing their majesty. My team and I are so excited for you to meet all of Maravi Island's magical inhabitants and see the amazing photos that you take. Embark on your adventure in the hidden magic jungles of Maravia Island. Assume the role of an aspiring really? wildlife photographer armed with her This is interesting. And a when it rains, of course. Of yeah. Explore, discover extraordinary creatures. That just looks like a level from New Pokemon Snap. Habitat. 
and photograph the enchanting, unique behaviors you reveal. Yeah, it's not like they... This would make more sense if it was like three years Magic after Jungles, New Pokemon time, Snap released or something, but just something was in the air around 2019 where all these indie devs were like, Pokemon Snap. Well, isn't Play that like when the original players of Pokemon Snap were kind of aged up enough that they could make their own games? And Maybe. I mean, I'm a animals. hardcore Pokemon Snap like, uh, and it's like, I don't know, if I really wanted to, I probably could have tried to make a game in my early 20s, so I don't know if that quite maps out, but maybe, maybe you're right. East of Maravia Island is out today. Ah! But right now? The beasts are free. <laughs> Hi, I'm Suncha from Scorecat Studio, and we're making Hua. We had a lot of fun at Wholesome Direct last May, and we're super excited to be back again with some. I'm gonna updates. put this on loop as my ambient this noise generator when I sleep. Exclusive footage, mm -hmm. as well as an announcement to make. So do stay tuned till the end of the video. Yeah, people are pointing out that these Pokemon Snap clones don't have rails on them, which is interesting. So this time, interesting. we're underground. This is home to the Flying Rocks. As you match each of them to their own cloud of light, they will become the cure. I feel like I'm listening to ASMR. It sounds like the Headspace app. Yeah. <laughs> I know where this block is going. <gasps> Straight to Gun Town. <laughs> Since last year at Wholesome Direct, our fairy has come a long, long way. And now that she's almost ready to meet everyone, we would like to... Do they coach the developers to ask them to be soothing, do you think? Today we are really happy to announce... I think this is they have a, I'm sure they have a mission statement, August, you know, if you're going to be in this Direct, here's what we're looking for. We cannot yeah. wait for everyone to join this journey. And see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Homeowners Association. Three, two, one... One zero. Okay, here we go. Hi. I'm oh. Sumi. I play piano when I can get someone to actually pay. Supposed to twitter while driving? This house has lawn games. Did you see? Luca. Hey, Not very hey, wholesome. Friend Luca. Luca is the planet. Wait, what were the options there? Away. Thoughts on Thoughts hentai? hentai? Thoughts on hentai okay, and somebody should be it. the CEO. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Itsu. This is Jay. Jay's like you never played a game before, sir. Right? Also a genius, but for your ears. Huh. What you doing? Morning. Everyone in Los Angeles is morning something. Glad to have you with us. I don't think this I'm is... cool enough to play this game. No, I know. This game makes me feel bad about myself. Yeah. Music. That was the mission statement. <laughs> If anything, you're honest. The camera, like, saying anything it, there's so much variety special. here. I'm still trying to understand, like, it's so good looking. Yeah. The whole game like this? Can they make a TV show? Oh, people are saying this is the fake band game. Oh. Yeah, it, they noticed this before, right? For those just joining, we'd like to remind you of our collaboration with the International Rescue Committee. I like those piercings. I've never seen that style before. Are the guy on the left. Crisis worldwide. That's the highest number ever recorded. The RSC helps people survive, recover, and gain control of their future. We've partnered with the Yeti to offer limited time, wholesome direct items like this incredible 3D acrylic stand, as well as a t-shirt featuring games from today's event. $5 from every product sold goes it's to cute. the cute. It's getting Rescue cuter every time. If you'd like That's to learn more, shirt. you can visit rescue.org slash wholesome games or follow at rescue org on Twitter. Thanks for your support. That's why we're wearing yellow is in honor of that organization, Sarah. I'm sorry. Look alive. I did, like I said, I did not get the email. I could maybe like color correct your window. <laughs> Pick up a camera or bust. Ooh, here what is, we go. Is this Paralives? Must be, right? Unless there's another one. It has to be. Ooh, you got that curve. Ooh. Is that a platform? Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Mute it, Will Wright. Oh my god. Start Stretch trying. that table. Oh my god. Oh. Modular furniture. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Look at that. Oh, what a funky room. I mean, The Sims who? Am I right? Yeah, no kid. 
We will do both, Para Lives. Everything's great except for the name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, post office stuff. <laughs> I feel like I need to start developing a game about a fox who works at a post office just to try and get in this thing next year. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kiwis. Hi, I'm Trent, and this is my grandma. Hi. And we're here to show you a trailer for my new game, uh, Walk with Yaya. It's about walking your grandma oh. around the neighborhood after she's had a scary fall, and you're trying to build her confidence back. It hasn't happened what to her yet, hey. but we're looking forward to it. Um, emotionally, can I handle like that? That means it's good. What happens if she falls again? Right, yeah, yeah, we need to do more motion capture today. Oh, son. Will that grandma stream this game? Yes. Yes. You're leaving Yaya behind. We're like five steps in front of her. I don't want to be dark, but if they make a sequel, I bet it's going to be a walk without Yaya. And it's like after Bonjour, she's passed. I'm Cedric Babouche. The That's my guess. And, the third, and then the third one, return to Yaya, you <laughs> where he goes to the spirit the realm. Adventure, Daldan. <laughs> Daldan follows Mimi. A young woman revisiting her childhood memories through puzzles and letters that her grandmother left for her. Everything in Dardogne is hand painted on paper before being Okay, you need to put a, a grandparent in your fox Through mail the adventure, game. You will <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Journal with the photos, yep. sounds, Smart. and the words you will find. And you're taking Wait, pictures of long, people's mail, maybe? Mimi's journal <laughs> yeah. is full of memories <laughs> of the summers she would have spent with her grandmother in Dardogne. Leo, do you think if I showed you this press conference at 7, you'd be excited about the future games, or you'd be like, what's going on? At age 7? Yeah. Good question. I like to think I'd be excited about it. And then I gave you like a glass of wine and a cigar and caviar. That was gorgeous. Yeah, I got little chills watching that. At 7, I think the graphics alone would get me excited. Yeah. But also. You know how when you have childhood memories and sometimes there's like sounds that These you people really have like? taught me and that I need to try hard like to look better. <laughs> they all are really, really doing cool. a good job. Oh. Okay. Kind of looks like a little hike aesthetic. Short hike? Yep, short hike. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could play a short hike again for the first time. You probably can, like, twist. 20 years from now. It's like you're playing as the lizard in, uh, you know those little lizards in, what is it, Shadow of the Colossus? Right, right. That you have yeah. to, like, chase after and eat or whatever? Yeah, totally. that's the game, is you just have to dodge Wander as he's that trying to That would be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Wander is like a Colossus to you. Interesting. Yeah. He even has the white tail. Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh, I've heard of those. Gex is back. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we, like, every game has looked good. Like, yeah. I haven't mm -hmm. wanted to get up and leave at any point. <laughs> ah, does that make... Yeah, normally I'm right on the right on the bubble of walking out of the room for any reaction stream. Right? I'm like, is that a is that a oh, time to go to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> it helps that none of these games have been on screen for more than a minute. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're like, right. Like, look at this. This looks amazing. Yeah, it's a good sign. Also what, big. Today. Like, I mean, I don't know what this game is about, but. Are you? This one's swinging big. Platformers are hard. I'm worried about you, team. We're rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. And unravel secrets when Tatsumatsu ah. releases. <gasps> Did you see that? In 2021. What? Who's making this? Playism. Okay. Playism. I like running around as a fox. Nature's better when you're a fox. Is that another no, fox? Yes, of yeah. course. My personal favorite. What's happening? Oh, okay. I live to see the smiles of others. 
Five so this is a dating teams. game? Dating sim? And I just love working at the post office. My wife's mountain. We have a what game for you. What the hell is that? Dinosaurs. The mornings that Tommy and I eat breakfast together are my favorite. Please be happy. Demo available. <laughs> Please be happy. I'm like trying my best. God. <laughs> wow. I'm confused about who I was supposed to be dating in that situation. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B through Z. That sounded really familiar. Stop screaming at me, I'm trying to be a witch. We haven't seen more of that um, Chucklefish witch game in a while, have we? No. Spellbrook, is that what it's called? Leap into battle cakes and form yeah, I think so. of a cupcake hero you create. <laughs> Uh, Cupcake heroes. <laughs> Sarah, I feel there. like you have your roadmap ahead kingdom, of you for all Min Max plays on Twitch. Really on Twitch though, now. like I would play every single one of these. I know. I like that they're hitting that it's your cupcake hero. Because if it was just mm -hmm. some cupcake, I don't know if I could relate to it. Right, right. Oh, I'll tell you all about Pinefall. It used to be Granny's back. Oh, you need to you need to set your game Charming in the Pacific Northwest back. Mm, yes, that's a great point. Now, for sure. A that's the formula right there. No wonder nobody steps foot in this place anymore. Yep. Okay, repairing it. Go out there yeah, you have to repair a house yeah. that your grandma it's left you. Or just repair a grandma. Everything. <laughs> and even after all of that, yeah, 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 back. You still need to take care of the critters, dredge the swamp, and throw out all the garbage. I hope someday we're as tired of repairing grandparents' house games as we are, no, you know, no, military they, shooters no. or whatever. Right, right. I just want us to have such an abundance, you know? That's the world I want to live in. You want to be saturated on, uh, people giving you houses that need repairing? Yes. All of these games, like, look so good. Yeah. Maybe Unity's easy now. <laughs> How many art styles can there be? That's what, like, this direct is. Right. How yeah. many art styles can you make a game in? Right. Ten years ago, it would have been so much more, you know, pixel art. Yeah. Which is nothing wrong with that, but we've seen, like, one game with that so far. Just cool. There we go. There we go. Revivals. The old Spielberg. I mean, Hitchcock. <laughs> I mean... He does look like a Dreams character. Pass-parto? What? Pass-part-out? Paddington 2. the second one. Okay. <laughs> Let me take a picture of you. <gasps> <laughs> Where is this going? Oh, is this the little witch game? Another little It is? I mean, that seems like a safe bet. <laughs> add to add it to the pile. <laughs> Scout the horizon. <laughs> Oh, they had a- Oh! Uh, how'd that frog get up there? Stowaway. That's Sally. interesting. I was gonna guess that was called Sally. <laughs> like, it, the games look so good, but if you ask me to, like, describe the gameplay to you, I would be unable. Yeah. I've got no clue what's happening. Well, did you right. see a Scout the Horizon? Come on. Of the yeah. Of death. What you just saw is the reveal of our first game, Sally. If you'd like to know more about it, make sure to follow us at Lucid Tales and join us on YouTube for our new series, Game Dev Tales. See you soon. In Rainbow Billy, you start your journey in Star Harbor, a peaceful island in the world oh my of imagination. God. Until suddenly, the Leviathan This stream taught me what colors are. The world to black yeah. <laughs> Along with Billy's huh. sidekicks, Rodrigo and Friendship, they embark on friendship. an epic journey to recolor Rodrigo the world, and Friendship? ...and complete various <laughs> trials in order to befriend colorless creatures like Eggins. 
By confronting these creatures and showing empathy to understand what they're going through, their missing colors are revealed, and with the help of your friends, they're fully restored to their That's real That's a four-star empathy attack. It's super effective. There's nothing more effective there. Billy's new friends join the adventure and have a new home aboard Friendship. Take care of your new friends by feeding them gummy fish to strengthen your bond. Rainbow Billy, the Curse of the Leviathan, will be launching later this year. <laughs> Adding this right. to your wish list would mean the world to us. There we go. Thanks for watching. Oh, boy, we I love their pitch for the combat. Mm-hmm. Quote unquote. Unpacking is a game about taking possessions out of boxes and learning about someone's life over a series of moves. Good. Good. You're not living Fun. by yourself this time. So I see that camera in the upper left corner. Oh. I would play this game. Yep. Do you think it ends? I don't know why I'm veering hard into the dark territory, but do you think it ends with like moving stuff into a storage locker? You realize your character is it the died. Game with a focus I feel like you take out a gun at the very end, and you're like, "Where do I put this?" Right. With a right. Wide range right. Of ingredients and now this and looks like an original this game. This is the other pod game. Well, there's two pod games! <laughs> this one's <laughs> not out, though. Yeah. This one, yeah, you're cooking in your grandma's pot. I mean, they both look amazing. But imagine making a pod game and then being like, God damn it, there's another one! <laughs> what there's are even the more odd... straightforward name. Uh... <laughs> well, I guess, it's, you know, with all these states making pot legal, though. <laughs> <laughs> It's too wholesome. We're all like losing our minds. <laughs> yeah. I need violence. Yeah. What's and the drugs. most? What's the darkest thing we could say right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Do the mass relay. <laughs> this kind of looks like a short hike, but if you just flew the entire time. Right. Right. Leo, I hope you're ready, because we're going to quiz you on the name of all these games after. <laughs> you mean one second after? Because I won't remember. Exploration and non-linear progression. They can't keep making art. Help a small and shy frog Someone needs to stop them. To find the ingredients she needs for her tea party. Download the tea guide. The teacup newsletter. Slow down. Hello. Hello. I'm Zach. And I'm Lou. Hello. And we're the co-founders of Bunny Hug. Hug. After the initial overwhelming response oh, to the Oh, they better Bunny Hug at the end of this. Wonderful community you guys, what's the name of our indie game Speaking team? Of friends, we wanted to share with the wholesome community a sneak peek into the um, friendship system. Let's of the see. It has, Hug Hug has to be like, um, I don't know. Do you got like a good Japanese word that we can combine with the word soft Ooh. or cloud or something? You Let's know, do like uh, fua fua, which means like soft. Yep. Done. Already done. Get the logo group uh, brewing. I'll reach yeah. out to Jeff Wiggins, our graphic designer. He'll make it happen. In what context would you use that? Talking about like a fur? If just describing something soft, anything soft, like a cloud, like a sheep. But we don't really soft. have a word for it in like English? Like fluffy. Like fluffy. Fluffy. Well, it's okay. like a sound. It's like an onomatopoeia. The sound of something soft. Fluff, fluff. So if you pet a cloud, it would make that sound? Yeah. This looks like Crossy Road. <laughs> Crossy Road stories. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> Find out why you went to the other side. I do really like the art for this one. I will be playing this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, Sarah. Uh -oh. Look out! <laughs> Try and maintain Papa your enthusiasm! <laughs> You, being Before a paparazzi is evil, like but being a paparazzi, no harm in that. Look at the swing! <laughs> Do they have animations? Just <laughs> <laughs> get away! The eyes! Look at them dude, he can't even walk, they just jump everywhere! It's so much easier. Luna's fishing <laughs> sure is a cozy is. fishing and building They don't game. have knees! <laughs> Thank you. 
catch fish, trade them in, and create the garden of your dreams. I do side quest underscore fish seven dot and short animals to the Oh god. You, you think you could have just kind of covered that part up? It's, but... the, it's the debug menu build. Here it is. Here's the little witch game I was talking about. No, sir, we've already seen four of those. Yeah. <laughs> Witchery Academy is a life sim where you play as a wizard apprentice. Uh oh, Leo! I would have killed for this Train game your as magical a kid. skills by yeah, killed. Yeah, this Absolutely. is this is why you like that bad Harry Potter game on PS One, right, Leo? Care of your yeah. too. Uh, on on PC it's good. PC, okay. I tried to play it on PC. I didn't get past like the first level. It was way too hard. Mm. Other but I was a child. So. That's what makes it great. It's kind of a Souls like. <laughs> But it's crazy how different the PC and the console games are. Oh, and interesting. You can even spend time bonding with your spirit different. companion. God, I would have. Oh. <laughs> I agree. Where's, All I ever wanted I, was to just play being at witch school for sure. Yeah, return I didn't need me that to Voldemort my youth. Crap. Witchery. And now that J.K. Rowling's over. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. swooping in. She's the rowling void. in her grave. Welcome to Amber Isle. All right, finally some dinosaurs. Is it too much to ask for? That camera is so close. I kind of love it. On this peaceful Thank island, you for your dino you are cheese. with running your very own shop and befriending the local prehistoric animal villagers, the paleo folk. <laughs> Why not like the paleo people? Not items, everyone's a genius writer of games like you are, Sarah. The village to meet the needs what? Of your Just use the big door, you hack. I like how you can tell they, they backed into this from what if Animal Crossing, but we were Tom Nook and the villagers were dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the camera was uncomfortably close. Yeah. Right. I mean, I feel like a lot of games are coming for time, Animal Crossing. We'd like to talk about our collaboration with the International oh, no. Rescue Committee. The IRC is one of the only organizations that works across the entire arc of crisis, providing immediate relief to millions whose lives have been shattered by conflict, disaster, and climate change, and helping refugees. I do like that we watch once a lot of wholesome, safe. cute games, we and then they kind of bring it back. For some limited time right. With this. Some direct march, like this incredible 3D Convert these pastel well colors into real world help, please. Yeah. Spirit. Five dollars from every product sold goes to the International Rescue Committee. And if you'd like to learn more, you can visit rescue.org slash wholesome games or follow at rescue. It is really great art. Thank you. They did a good job with this. Mm -hmm. This whole like. Agreed. Ooh. Oh, now we're talking. Ooh, my name is Wudo. Oof. Um, my eyes are okay, right? Yeah, your okay. eyes are good. <laughs> I see like love this. I don't I don't who needs to go to therapy when you could play this game right am I right, right? Yep. like look at this oh, my insurance covers this <laughs> <laughs> I need it for my mental well-being <laughs> that I've never wanted to touch a screen harder yeah yeah oh are you are you all weird texture people? I'm like a. I realized a couple years ago I'm a weird texture person. Like I need to touch something if I see it. Like walking huh. on the street. It, I don't know what it is, but that game. No, I don't think we're. We're not the same. We are not the same. Uh oh. Hello. Which which one? <laughs> Which which game are we talking about? <laughs> Ryan Herzog in the chat says, "Touch your neighbor's mail." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> All right. Yep. 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 Oh, I've seen this. It looks the like... issue with a lot of these indie games is I've been following them for like five years. Right, right. And every time you see them, you're like, this isn't out yet? Yeah. If they're gonna crunch, they wouldn't be welcome at the Wholesome Direct, probably. That's true. That's true. 
Cheeky Nuts. Moonshell. I will press A on that. Thank you. Frog song is a I'm noticing frogs. Where it's okay to yep, be I'm feeling frogs. Oh, another reoccurring theme. Yep. I, now, I don't know much about frogs, but they're defined by slowly walking on all fours, right? Cute froggy characters and protect yourself from monsters. <laughs> okay, it's hard to animate jumping. I, 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 don't, I don't doubt. I don't doubt it. It seems easier, but uh, <laughs> I digress. All right, thank you. The Rock dogs Rock in the paparazzi game hopped, and that they dog just like to walked around. More wholesome games coming your way this year and beyond. These are going to go by fast, so don't forget to visit wholesomegames.com after the show for That's all cool. the info and links to. I wonder That's how good. they chose their hosts. Oh, what? Le whoa, 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 whoa! What is an official what? licensed what? Lego game? Wait, so it looks so good. It's Captain Toad, but Lego? What? Isn't that isn't that out? Captain Toad, but Lego? Journey? I've never seen that before. Wait, they can't just show that and then like move on. They can't. They can't get away with it. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> wow. And not a single gun was seen. Well, I think it's been on. out on Apple Arcade. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Well, I played that game. Yeah, we uh, we streamed it a while ago. I know Dan Riker's been streaming it too, and he's uh, pornographically into it. It is very fun. Is that Lego Builder game cool, Leo? Did you play it at all? No, I haven't. Okay. Well, it's nice that things are leaving Apple Arcade. <laughs> yes, it is. 2D and top D. Oh, cool. I feel like we need to hold AAA studios more accountable for their art. That's what I've learned from this. Yeah. It can look better. It can look like 2D and top D if you really tried. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of super talented artists that are ready to make a game look completely unlike yeah. anything else you've ever seen. <laughs> what? <laughs> I do want more cooking games. Yeah. Ever since Mama left, we haven't mm -hmm. had enough. She had an interesting end. Yeah, no one saw the climactic ending to the Cooking Mama series coming. Yeah. <laughs> I like the look of that. The Magnificent Truffle Pigs? Published by AMC Games of Walking Dead fame? Of movie theater stock chain fame? Okay. I get to arrange my shells by color. Okay. I can't, are we at like the end and then we're just going through everything? Yeah. Or are we still like going through? This is new stuff. This is yeah. cute. Yeah. This is rapid fire section. We're really just. Oh my god. Okay. What? It's like cute. It's all cute. Donut, Donut delivery system? Game? Okay. Honestly, I wish this was a subscription service where I got all these, you know? Yeah. They tend to bucks a month for wholesome games. They tend to end up in, like, itch bundles, though. Mm, I know sure. I got a bunch of them from... There's, like, the Palestine bundle right now, and then a few others. That's Pretty how cool. I got a short hike, is they oh, always end okay. up in itch bundles. That last game looked really wild, like, just a bunch of little mechanics in there. Yeah. Not to... Not to badmouth the oh. cat designer Mocha. Oh, shit. Dump that water. Yes. What is this? Tell me what I'm. What is this? Okay, you know what we should have been counting instead of guns? Combinis. What's that? Because I've seen at least five combinis. What is that? Little yeah, Japanese convenience stores. Oh. Even Leo's nodding. He knows. Yeah. Sorry. Have you been to Japan five times? Ten. Yeah. <laughs> Ten but uh, <laughs> oh. I don't pay attention. Little top hat on a robot? Now I've seen everything. Hello. Is this Tamagotchi? Hell yeah. This is indeed the best animal. <laughs> Koto Dummy is evolving? Alright. Co open. Running a co op? Oh, of course. 
It's getting away. Snow skating. Oh god. Ska music. God. Yeah. We How many are there? We should have been counting cameras. Like that is secret That's juggernaut true. here. Ooh. Game director story. Where you make new. Is it that the game from the launches? <laughs> Real game dev situation. Sorry, the game is canceled. You're all fired. <laughs> you have ten minutes to clear your desk. <laughs> oh. Uh, TK in the chat says that Giles Goddard in her interview brought up Konbini, and I nodded. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> called out. Yeah. Maybe I asked him what it was. Oh, what? Funky. Do you think they're small planets, or does it like change? I can't. Oh, I, I hope can't. they're small planets. Yeah. Fire tonight. <laughs> what an interesting name for a game. Oh, but there actually is a fire. Tonight. Ooh. Okay. This looks like a card battle. Fl floppy tonight. Mm. Here you go, Serial. Was that like a tactics and game but with cards? That the end of our program. Yeah. Remember to visit wholesomegames.com for links to every game in the show. As an indie developer myself, I can say for certain that just a follow or wish list can make all the difference. We'll see you again next year for Wholesome Direct 2022. You betcha. But it wouldn't be a real showcase without one last surprise. So here's is this one gonna more be... game we hope you'll love. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what is it? What could it be? Why, Sarah? It's Lottle Knot. I did not see that coming. Do you think this is Very short cute. hype developer? Like, it's amazing that they single this one out as being the big deal. Yeah. I like that you're cleaning up the ocean. Someone's got to do it. Breath of, someone said Breath of the Wild 2 in chat. <laughs> what if? It's a Lottle. A I think it's cute. Yeah. Oh, they follow, do they follow you around? Oh, I thought that was his arm. <laughs> it was his arm too! <laughs> oh, you can pet them! <laughs> can you imagine if you couldn't, Sarah? The outrage I would be online. Very sad. <laughs> Pretty, that was nice. Pretty gosh darn cute, y'all. I feel like they need to go play a really violent video game. Yeah, I think it's interesting yeah. to see, like, you know, it's interesting to see these games. It's interesting just to see, like, okay, what games are influential to the people that are developing games mm -hmm. outside yeah. of the Pokemon typical Yeah, Pokemon Snap, yep. Animal Crossing. And Pokemon proper, uh, any sort of, like... Yeah, Harvest Moon, any sort Stardew of... Stardew Valley, for sure, has been influential. Well, sure, but I'm just talking about even, like, you know, in the past. Like, you know, where does this different path kind of get their start and passion for what should be in a game? And it's so fascinating mm -hmm. to just follow that path backwards instead of just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played a lot of DMC1 <laughs> a lot. Um, where does the Fox stuff come from? People like Slash foxes, Hooper? I guess. Wes Anderson? Maybe. Mm. It's like foxes... Frogs, cats, and dogs. <laughs> that really should then, be the name. I for think that year. covers most of what we saw. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let us know what your favorite ga favorite game there is, chat. If you can recall the names, you can always scrub through and find it. I think. Uh, help me remember. There was that one that I really liked. Hot Pot for one. <laughs> Hot Pot for yeah. one. That which is good. not VR, but there's a different game called Hot Pot VR that came up when I searched. Oh. So maybe I need to get into that. Oh, interesting. Oh, this. That looks. Oh, that was really cute. Oh, that's the Gecko Gecko Gods. All right, remember the name of that one? There was mm -hmm. that, the Wood Woodle Wood Woodo. Woodo, the one that you wanted to touch. Yep. Woodo. This one. Yep. I want to yep. touch, consensually. Touch. Must touch. <laughs> um. 
tracks of thought I want to learn more about. That was on the train where you were like having a card based oh, conversation. Battles. Yeah, and you you could pick what like emotion you or like what personality trait you wanted to have. Yeah, that looked That's, good. Looks I really like liked my favorite Yo-Kai part of Griffin. Yeah, Yokai Inn was cute. That was the pixel game from Ooh, yeah, yeah that one. Okay, that yeah. does look great. Yeah, nice and simple. Yokai Inn looks super cute. I feel like that team can really pull off that concept. You know, that's. I always worry a little bit about like, oh, don't swing too big, but a nice focus game like that, that seems great. Yeah. Okay. This is Paralives. I was expecting to see more from Paralives. Yeah, I thought that was going to be like the Like, the I think I've one. seen most of this already. So, I don't know. Wish I wish them the best. Godspeed, Paralives. Godspeed. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll be back with more reactions. You can always subscribe to MinMax's YouTube channel or subscribe to the MinMax Show podcast in your favorite podcast app where we'll be talking about E3 highlights uh, with a bunch of bonus episodes. And if you just could not get enough of Sarah Podzorski squealing about dogs, then Sarah, maybe they should check out twitch.tv slash Show every Tuesday where you stream yep. uh, a new game. And you finish Resident Evil yep. Village and you might be on an indie kick for a while or do you have ideas of yep. what you want to stream in the future? No, I'll figure it out tomorrow probably <laughs> and let you know. But okay. it'll be good. Cool. And you feeling good about I promise. You feeling good about streaming on Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. Thanks so much everybody. Um and Sarah, do you want to plug your Twitter handle? Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at Sarah Pods. You can also follow me on Twitch at Sarah Pods. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I'll be also be streaming later today around 7.30 p.m. Central. Sweet. So very exciting. And Leo, what should people look forward to on your end? Mm, those sweet E3 videos will be up on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash minmaxshow. And if you want to be a part of those fun editing streams, that those notifications will go up in the Discord for $10 patrons. Sweet. All right, thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you with the rest of E3 coverage very soon. Bye!